Welcome, Mekon, I'm Don. I made this insert more than a year ago. Since then I got a lot of seal with this saw and oil and it pretty much destroyed it. So it's time to make a new one. To remove the insert I had to first take off the back fence of the saw. This time I wanted to make a template first in order to save time when making more in future. So I put back the original parts and I used tape to hold them together and stick everything on a piece of 4mm ply. And this tape holder is last week's project and video. I will leave you the link in the cards. I center punched and drilled pilot holes for the screws on the template. You'll see why in a minute. I then cut a shape a bit of side the line, then got on the line with my belt sander. And now I could stick the template on a piece of wood and transfer the holes on it. I measured the diameter of the screw heads and drilled the holes deep enough to eventually have the screw heads slightly inset.
before drilling to the right size for the screws. Then I ran the bolts running in plain air a few times, each time shaving off only a tiny bit till I got to the exact thickness. I roughly cut the shape at my less than mediocre bandsaw. Then I taped the board to my template using the actual screws for precise positioning before flash trimming it at the router table. Then I mounted the new insert and chugged it with the side of my block plane to make sure it was dead flush before making the first cut into it. I finished the insert taking it back off again to clean it and give it a couple coats of transparent spray paint. And then I reassembled everything to call it done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.